titled and scheduled. X111 parking prohibited at all times of the code of the township of Mount Holly. With that, we'll open this up to the public for any questions and concerns on this ordinance and this ordinance only. Uh, we'll start in the first row. Seeing none in the first row, we'll move second row, third row, fourth row. Seeing none, we'll close the public portion for this ordinance and bring it up to council for consideration. I have a motion to approve by Mr. Brown. Do I have a second? <coughs> I have a second by Mr. Codiani. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Astor? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Next is matter to be presented by the public. Members of the public are invited to submit comments during the public comment portion of this meeting. The council, pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, will not public discuss personnel matters and may choose not to respond to comments made by members of the public during this portion of the meeting. <coughs> However, the council will give all comments appropriate consideration and will refer all individual complaints to the township manager or appropriate township representative for resolution. Each citizen be allowed up to three minutes to speak in order, excuse me, in order to allow everyone an opportunity to express their opinions or concerns. Uh, we'll start with the first row. Again, please, your name and address for the record. Good evening, Mr. Lopez. Mm. Hold it for a second. Good evening. Uh, my name is Louis Lopez. I live in 98 and never thrive. I have three questions on agenda item. The, 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 one, the second agenda item and the last agenda item. So you're asking about 2290? Yeah, and the last one. And the last one, is that 95 or is that the department head reports? Uh, line 93. The last one is 93. Oh, I think, yeah. I mean, 93. Okay, so 202090 and 202093. Josh, would you like to give a little extra? 202090 is the township has uh, received grants in excess of $582,000 to address issues with Levis Drive. Um, in order to complete in the design phase, uh, we need to accept the proposal from the Lago Associates. The project's probably going to anticipate to be over a million dollars, so they're looking between eighty and hundred thousand dollars in design. <coughs> 993 is an increased payment to the police from $75 an hour to $95 an hour for extra duty activities. This would be more in line with surrounding areas and this is paid by vendors and has no impact on the town budget. And I do have a something I'd like to put in a tender item for this uh, for tonight if I could uh, give it to you. You can ask. No, I have um, a, 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 a sort of eight cup. Can I give it to you? Um, ask Tom, can you take a look at that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Why, why don't you read this, Lewis? No, I'm not, I want to read it, but, but I also want to give a copy to everyone. Right, but, but, you, but you're reading it will go into the to the minutes. So why, why don't you read it? Read that? it first, and then we'll take the topic. Okay. That's a dear count from uh, greeting to all of my Holly Township Council members and Township managers. My name is Louis Lopez. I'm a resident of Mount Holly, New Jersey. I was asking to put an agenda item for August 8, 2022. And then I have to allow, allow minutes for all public residents for three minutes to five minutes. For they have like married issue, important issue, plus major concern of the surrounding areas of my high township. Okay. Do you mind for uh? Yeah, you can pass that up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Okay. 
Thank you, Willis. Thank you. All right. Um, next in front row, please. Yep. My, name, my name is Eric Johnson. If you don't mind, I would like to sit because there's an injury here. That's, that's fine, sir. I come to see you, counsel. Good mm -hmm. evening because I was denied a handicapped parking space in front of my home. And I have a serious concern about the fairness of this decision because there are other homes in my community that have handicapped parking signs in front of their homes. I'm not showing anyone's home, but this is a photo of the sign in the streets in my area because I don't believe I need to designate someone's property but to show that there are signs on the street and there are driveways that every um, home in my neighborhood has a driveway. And being denied, I think that was a very um, bad decision. But now as I take a look at it, I'm here to ask counsel to change the decision or to be reconsidered. And the reconsideration under the 14th Amendment to preclude the government from denying any person within jurisdiction of equal protection of the law I have a right to a handicapped sign in front of my home, despite having a driveway, because the township has no other ordinance in mind for that, because that was something that had come up to play. I've made several attempts to appeal this decision and to get a better understanding and to work closer with the township. Then I was basically told that I was denied because of having a driveway in front of my home. At no time did anyone take into consideration the other conditions like inclement weather. How about inclement weathers make driveways unusable? And no one took into consideration <coughs> that in the process of that is very hard to maneuver when you're getting out of the car, especially with the front door. I parked my SUV in my driveway in inclement weather and I could not open the car door because of the snow. It's a very serious problem that would happen if you were a person that was handicapped and had to walk. The problem that I was having was that they said that I could walk from my driveway to uh, my front door. Well, in inclement weather, I'd have to walk down my driveway to the sidewalk and then up to the front gate and then to my door. If there was a handicapped sign in front of my home, I could get out of my car, walk straight up the walkway, which is concrete, level and better and right through my front door. That's a straight path. So I wanted to do away with that theory of walking across my yard when no one thought of inclement weather. I thought that was very inconsiderate, especially when we are handicapped people need these, as, these special things. I would also like to know what team of medical professionals helped them to make that decision. In my attempt to find out, I also found out from Sherry Monell that the township ordinance are none. There's no criteria, no guidelines used in ruling of the handicapped signs other than the state mandate. I received an email from the township clerk in July that advised me that there were no ordinance governing the designation of handicapped parking and spaces. I was told that the state rule were finding a person eligible to park in the handicapped spot plot and that beyond. I met all of the state requirements eligible for a handicapped parking space in front of my home. I have a placard in my car. I have plates. I have all the things necessary and needed. Since, and those are the things that the township asked when applying for my handicapped sign. Now, as the mandate, the state considers that eligible. Given the fact that no municipal ordinance governing the designation of a handicapped parking space, and in fact that I have met the state guidelines for handicapped parking spaces, any decision denying me a handicapped spot would be arbitrary and capricious. On August the 1st, I received an email from Ms. Marnell, which was, which was basically telling me that I had received all of the information that I was going to receive. However, without citing any ordinance, rules or regulations or statutes. Her only reason for my denial that she was given and that was given to me was that because I had a driveway. I cannot understand that. There are many, as I said before, 
There are many homes that have them. She then said the fact of claiming the handicapped signs be put in front of homes and residents who do not have driveways and have to park on the street. My photo, which is here, would you all like to see it? I, I didn't see it. Though. Okay. Stop. Or the, um, Could I sign hand it to someone? <coughs> so, the, so the mayor can see? Sure. John, I, I hear you, and um, I will uh, look into this a little bit further because it's, I'm intrigued under, from what you're saying, and I haven't heard a lot on our end about what happened. So I will I'll have it looked back into for you. Okay. So we can figure this out and be able to move forward. Well, see, my problem is I've been holding on since January. I understand that, sir. I understand that, and I will. We will do our best to try to come up a, with a timely, re, uh, quick solution for you, and and so we can move on and get this resolved. Okay. Okay. I would. I would also, if it's possible, I'd like for the council to move tonight. No, I'm be, not. I don't think we're going to be ready to have it moved it tonight. I would like to have a little bit more records of what was said. The, uh, you know, just, I'm not, I don't want to just take your word for everything. We haven't been privy to emails that, of these because they haven't come across our desk. So, that I know of. So, I would like to be able to understand everything fully before we move forward. I'm not saying anything that you're saying isn't true, but I just want to make sure that we cover ourselves completely and we can um, do a little more research. You asked if we in your statement, you asked if we would reopen it and look into it, correct? That's exactly. Yeah. And that's what I'm. That's what I'm willing to do for you tonight. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, I just want to double check. You said that other residents have handicapped parking spaces in your area and also have drivers. And drivers, yes. Okay. So there's a precedence for already. That's why I was trying to understand why was I do not. And that's more of that what we need to look into and make sure that we are consistent. Consistent. So. Well, Mayor Jones. Also, there are no township ordinance. I understand that, but you're not going to get a approval tonight. I'm going to be honest and tell you that. I'm going to tell you that you asked us to look into it for you, and that's what we are willing to do. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow, but you, it will be looked into. Well, I received something in writing because I've got once fiery we, once emails. Once we come to a conclusion, yes, we will be in complete contact with you throughout this entire process. Because I'm beginning to feel as though I don't matter. I understand your, your thoughts. This is the first time you're coming to council and presenting it to us. When emails are done, we don't see the everyday. This isn't our everyday job. This is a secondary well, I, I position understand. for us. So we don't see the everyday things that come about. So there's emails that were out there that we haven't seen. So we would like, I'm asking that we are privy to that so we can see that and make a decision before our next, by our next meeting, hopefully. Okay. But um, I'm just, Okay. You asked for us to look into it, and that's what we're willing to do. And I would have a chance to interact with the council because I have been denied yes, we that. we will be in contact with you complete way once we figure everything out. Okay? okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Seeing no one else in the first row, move to the second row. Uh, third row. Um, Arlene Piper, 494 Mary Street. Um, I didn't get a chance uh, last meeting to ask about what the work was going to be going on on Mary Street and Front Street. There was a resolution for I don't know, what uh, improvements on the street. I just want to know because there's only a few people that live there, um, on, especially on my street where we would park while this is getting done. And so I was just wondering, does anybody know what's actually going to be done? Uh, we put in for the grant application. We haven't. It's, we haven't accepted the grant application yet, so. So it'll come up in another meeting. Um, it won't come up in another meeting, but okay. we still have to get acceptance from. What are we looking to do there? Is it just remailing again, or remailing Dave, and then they gotta redo the uh, handicap accessibility when they do those works. Okay, thank you very much. 
Uh, anyone else in that row? Seeing none, we move to the back row. Sedano, 47 Garden Street. Um, I have some email that I want to pass out, uh, but I'll, I'll tell you about it first. Um, so I had asked uh, months ago about uh, the compost that gets generated by a contractor for us, and it, some of it, my understanding is some of it's supposed to get provided to residents. So I've been interacting with the township and uh, there, there has been some compost moved to the spot where it used to go. And uh, when I asked you about it, you guys said you would look into it, so maybe, maybe that's what happened. So there's, there's, there's some compost there. Um, but this is, a, uh, this is about that, but a little bit more specific. Um, there's a contract, here it is. I got a copy of it. Um, and as per this certain part of the contract, it seems to indicate to me that the contractor is supposed to supply to, 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 well, I'll read it to you. The offsite facility shall be operated at Ironworks Park, and it gives the address, in a location near the boat access point. And this is all about what the contractor, LNS, shall do. So it seems to me that they're supposed to do the moving, and in the past, everybody thought, and it's right in this email, we thought Public Works was doing it, which is like one more thing for them to do on an already gigantic list of stuff mm -hmm. for them to do. So I asked the question, is it, is it the case that the contractor is supposed to provide it, not, not Public Works doing that work? So that's what my question's about. I don't expect you to answer that tonight, but. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but but there, yes, I, I just want to say one more thing. There are addendums to the contract, and it, it's included by reference, I think. Uh, there's a, a letter, and, uh, and then it's the, R, the RFP, which isn't on here. So I don't know precisely the language, but maybe those documents. And I'm trying not to do Oprah's. So I, just, I hope you believe me here. I don't want to you know, make more work for Sherry. So that, that's it. I'll um, okay. I have I'll a, a look at that if you want to. That's that piece. Um, I do have a question about did the um, first reading of the ordinance the, with the weight of the trucks happen? Not yet. No? Okay. That's all I got. Thank you. Anyone else in the back row? Hi, uh, Gary Pollock, Three Birch Avenue. So the truck, are you, is that like including the problems we're having on Street Street with the construction coming going back and forth every day? That ordinance was the ordinance that was on the last agenda that was added that the, pub, the public asked us to table to make sure that we included certain roads and it has not been fully completed and vetted by the rest of us yet before we can present okay. it. So. The other question I had is we sent a, um, a bunch of emails to Paul Hardiker. We found out through the Mount Holly Police Department that he's in charge of the noise ordinance, all the toxic waste that goes on on that property. Um, we just want to know, following up with Paul Hardiker, he hasn't got back to anybody on any of our emails that were sent to him about the Dean demolition that's also part of the heavy construction going up and down Street Street. As that being a personnel issue, I will just address that to our manager, who that's his job to address it, that he has yeah. not responded Paul has been on vacation, so. Sure. Okay, this one. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll close the public portion for tonight and move back up to council for the consent, move on to the consent agenda. All right. Agenda. All items listed with an asterisk are considered routine by council and will be attacked by one motion. Should a council member wish to discuss a consent agenda item separately, that item can be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence. 
other stuff. Uh, resolution is 2022-89, approving place to place transfer expansion of premises of liquor or club liquor license number 0323-31-012-0. VFW Memorial Home. Resolution 2022-9, the approving a fee proposal from Richard A. Alima Associates in the amount not to exceed 100,000 in connection with the FY 2021-2022 NJ. Local <coughs> A program, Levinson Grant Street. Resolution number 2022-91, authorizing the extension of a shared service agreement with the Mount Holly Municipal Authority for administrative use of facilities at 37 Washington Street. Resolution number 2022-92, resolution of reduction to the performance guarantee for property known as West Grand Cocos Redevelopment Project. Resolution number 2022-93, authorizing the increase of hourly pay for Mount Holly Police outside of employment. Resolution number 2022-94, authorizing the refund or cancelization of property taxes for Block 2, Lot 86, 506 M Street. Resolution number 2022-95, authorizing the award of contract for Mill Dam Park Site Improvement Project. The approval of the bill list and the approval of the department head report. So does anyone on council wish to have anything pulled and voted on separately? Hearing none, we have a motion for the consent agenda. I have a first by Mr. Brown. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by Mr. Codiani. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Codiani? Yes. Ms. Asher? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Madam Chief, reported by the Township Manager. Uh, nothing besides that handicap placards are done by the Police Department. I'll have the Chief of Police give Sherry any information relevant to that. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chief, presented by our solicitor. Uh, nothing to see, Mayor. My items were addressed in the agenda this evening. Matters to be presented by the Town Council. Mr. Cody, I Yeah, um, three weeks ago, I got or about three weeks ago, I got to go down to Lumberton Township for a meeting they had on flooding in the Grand Cove Street. Um, I'm still waiting on some details from that meeting they're going to send it over to me. Um, but Lumberton Township, along with Pepper Township, Pemberton, and a couple others, are trying to form kind of like a regional um, flood response because it's more or less been determined that one town doing something isn't going to be effective unless all the towns are also doing something. Um, so, council, as soon as I get those details, I'll forward them to you guys. Um, also, from that meeting, it was a regular council meeting as well for them. Um, I did note some things that they do a little differently than us. I know it's brought up tonight uh, by Mr. Lopez, but they do actually do five minutes for their public comment section. Um, they, all the council members have microphones as well as the public. I know we're, we're going to be renovating that one building for the court and the council chamber. Okay, that'll, 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 that'll be all there. Get back to. Um, and then they also printed out all their ordinances, like full text and everything, and gave it out to the, the public. So I know we have a lot of requests for that and something that one of our neighbors in the council That's all true. Um, 
actually what in regards to Shreve Street, um, I'm sure your wife told you, I, I tried really hard over the last couple weeks to connect with um, Jenna Champion, your wife, and I did go over to your home because from the, your property on, um, on Birch Avenue, you can get a really good view of what's going on on Shreve Street. I made the mistake of just driving down the Shreve Street and taking a look, and you, can, you can't see what's going down. And so taking the time and going over there and making, you know, uh, coordinating our schedules, I got a really good look at what's going on at the soil on the bank and, you know, that where the creek runs through. And um, I, I do hope that council and the township continues to pay attention at the very least, because I know deep demolition is a whole separate thing, but, you know, if soil is eroding, soil is eroding. If tree branches are, and roots are bare, um, that you, you can't deny it. So um, I, I really appreciated her connecting with me to go and see for myself. I and mean, I will continue to advocate for at least a, a very thorough look at the, the situation to make sure that the um, And I think that was everything. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yes, we do. So this upcoming Saturday, we're going to be doing another township wide cleanup. Um, so, volunteers are definitely going to be appreciated. Um, we will be here like we did last time, and there's a few areas that we probably are going to address. And I did check the weather, so the heat wave is not going to be around, so it's not going to be as hot as today. So, that's a plus. So, hopefully, we can get more people out and try to get some of the stuff done before fall because pretty much summer is almost a wrap. And it looks like faster than a lot, a lot of people into this baby. So uh, we want to get some things done before the fall time hits and school comes back. So hopefully we can get more people out. Thank you guys all for your comments and everything tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, with that, the next meeting is Monday, September 12th at uh, 6 p.m. With that, we have a motion to adjourn. Yes.